nini ambacho ni ni mpya and the spirit took me into the presence of the lord roho wa mungu akanipeleka katika uwepo wa mungu how do we love god je unawezaje kumpenda mungu and what is the measure of loving this god je na kipimo aina gani cha kumpenda mungu And then the Holy Spirit carried me to the scriptures. Hivyo basi Roho Mtakatifu akanibeba kwa maandiko. And the one of the first scripture that the Holy Spirit took me to is John 14:23. Na moja wapo andiko ambao Mungu alinipeleka ni Yohana 14 na mstari wa 23. Yohana 14:23. Yes. Jesus answered and said to him. Yesu akajibu akamwambia If a man love me mtu akinipenda No that's wrong English but if a man loves me ikiwa mtu atanipenda ananipenda ikiwa mtu ananipenda samahani he will keep my word atalishika neno langu and my father will love him na baba yangu atampenda And we will come to him and make our abode with him. Nasi tutakuja kwake na kufanya maskani. Listen to that. Basi sikiza hilo. I want to tell you something church. Takwambia kitu kanisa. How many have seen love? No, that's love. Watu wameona upendo wakasema ah, upendo ndio ule. Love is actually ni kichwa ambacho hauwezi ukakiona lakini unaweza ukaidhihirisha unaweza ukaionyesha you can experience it you can experience it and you can show it unaweza ukaionyesha na vile vile unaweza ukaisi here is a condition hii ni hali ambayo imepeanwa if ya kwamba ikiwa kama kama loves me mtu ananipenda he will keep my word basi yeye ata ataweka atashika neno langu na baba yangu atampenda hey listen sikiza you can know whether god loves you or not unaweza ukajua kama mungu anakupenda ama hakupendi Anybody if you want to know and you can know whether God loves you or God doesn't love you. Mtu yeyote yule unaweza ukajua ya kwamba kama Mungu anakupenda ama hakupendi. If you love Jesus. Kwa sababu kama ukimpenda Yesu, the Father will love you. Basi baba atakupenda. And both of them na wote wawili they will come and make an apple. Watakuja wafanye maskani ndani yako makoka kuikia mtuo kwako watafanya makao ndani yako this was spoken by god in man hii ili neno na mungu ndani ya mwanadamu this was this was spoken by god in man ili nenwa na mungu ndani ya mwanadamu and that is jesus christ na huyo ni kristo yesu said if you love me anasema kwamba ikiwa mnanipenda it will not end up with me basi aitaisha na mimi the love will escalate and touch the father basi ule upendo utazidi na utamguza baba and we because of that love na kwa sababu ya huo upendo my father will love you basi baba yangu atakupenda and both of us na sisi wote shall be attracted basi tutaweza kuvutiwa by you na wewe and we shall come let's na tuta, go na tutakuja tumependwa na kamutea hallelujah kamutea has loved you jesus my son yes and because he has loved you kamutea amenipenda mimi yesu mwana wa mungu na kwa sababu amenipenda now i also love kamutea vile vile na mimi napenda kamutea now we feel attracted by kamutea sasa tunaishi tumevutiwa na ule upendo wa kamutea we cannot live in heaven hatuwezi tukaishi mbinguni only peke we must go lazima tuende kwa mchungaji kamoti 
and let Kamu say, oh my goodness, come here Kamu say, because you have come to you down on earth. Kwa sababu tumeshuka hapa duniani, tukiwa tunamzunguka. Yes. We take Kamute. Basi tunamchukua Kamute. Pastor Kamute. Tungaji Kamute. Because you have loved me. Kwa sababu umependa mwanangu I have also loved you. Na pia mimi nimekupenda. And we have come. Na basi tumekuja to make an abode with you. Ili tufanye maskani ndani yako. Tuishi na wewe. Amen. And now in simple language. Na sasa kwa lugha iliyo rahisi. become a member of our family. Wewe umekuwa moja wapo wa familia. You are part of us. Wewe ni sehemu yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a by Jesus Christ. Huo ni kukiri kwa ajabu kwa Yesu Kristo. This man has become a member of the heavenly family. Hamekuwa moja wapo wa moja wa kamati ya mbingu. And because he's a member of this na kwa sababu ya ni moja wa hiyo familia whatever he me chochote atakacho niomba in his name my son Jesus kwa jina la mwanangu Yesu Kristo if you ask anything in the name of my son. Kama utaomba chochote kwa jina la mwanangu Yesu. Listen to me. Basi nisikize. I will do it. Mimi nitalifanya. I promise you I will do it. Na kwa hili ya kwamba nitafanya. Ndini John 16:25. Na pale ke Yohana 16 mstari wa 25. <laughs> Biblia inasema up to now you have not asked anything. Mpaka sasa hivi amjaniomba chochote. Ask. Basi omba that you may receive ya kwamba ukapokee and that your joy may be full na ya kwamba furaha yako ikamilike hallelujah hallelujah glory to god big yes makofi jamani utukufu kwa mungu one of the privileges of loving jesus moja wapo ya faida ya kumpenda yesu e assimilated to be invited to be a member of the family of the heavenly father ni ya kwamba unalikwa uwe muhusika katika kamati na familia ya Mungu Baba so if you love god so basi ikiwa unampenda Mungu you are loved in heaven basi wewe unapendwa mbinguni and you become a member of that family na basi wewe unakuwa moja wapo wa mshirika wa hiyo familia number 2 na jambo la pili we will always be with you. Kila wakati tutakuwa pamoja nawe. And that what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. Kwa maana Yesu akasema pale Mathayo 28. And the 20. Na pale mstari wa 20. And the Lord I will be with you always. Basi ni pamoja nanyi nitakuwa pamoja nanyi kila wakati. Till the close of the age. Hadi mwisho wa dahari. Mm. Believers, mumini, have one problem. Wakona sida moja. We do not have believers. Sisi atuna wa mumini. If we have a small scale, na kama wapo wakukati kahali kidogo sana. What we have is symbol. Kila tulicho na cho ni rais. Angalia sapo dete. Listen to what we have. Okay. Ambia skiza kili ambacho tu nacho. Mirie. Kamuti, Reverend Kamuti, we do not have believers. We have Christians. Sisi atuna waumini, tuna wa Christo. Christians. Wa Christo. Believe everything. Wana amini kila kitu. Accept everything. Wana kubali kila kitu. Yeah. Ndiyo. I was young. Kati nilikuwa mchanga. I had suffered long. Nilikuwa nimeteseka kwa mda mrefu. And then my pastor from my church saw that I was about to die. Na mchungaji wangu pale kanisani ya kaona ya kwamba karibu nafa. My mother had lost two children. Mangu alikumbe poteza watoto wa wili. And she was about to lose another handsome boy. Na alikuwa karibu ana mpoteza kijana mtana shati. Mtana na shati Mtana na shati 
And the pastor told my mother, na, "In my hearing, na yule mchungaji akamwambia mamangu, nikisikia, mother, ma'am, nikikamu. Why mako kiloka mandi mwana uwe kwa nukwaje mwana? Usipo inuko wende ukatavute vile ya kumfanya mtoto wako basi." Nendo mtafutie jinsi la kufanya kwa mganga. Mother did it. Pia yule mamangu akafanya. Seven years. Na kwa miaka saba. I was slaughtered among witch doctors. Nilikuwa baendelea kutanga tanga kwa waganga. Until I believed in Jesus Christ in form two. Mpaka ni kama mimi Yesu Kristo kwa form two. He knew the truth of the problem of my sickness and he knew the solution. Magonjwa na maradhi katika sikia ndio yanafanya mtu kujibu kupata matatizo mengine kuliko yale mashahidi kwa sababu pia kwa sababu ni bwana na mwokozi wa yangu na vile pia ni mwamini na mponyaji wa ajabu. Hallelujah. So what happened? Hivyo basi nini kilitendeka? When I loved Jesus wakati nilimpenda Yesu and welcomed him in my heart nikamkaribisha kwa moyo wangu and they came to dwell in me na wakaja kukana and devils took off na mapepo na mashetani yakatoroka they to lift me ilikuwa tu niachilie because somebody superior has occupied my very feet kwa sababu mtu aliye na nguvu zaidi ameweza kumiliki nafsi yake. Jesus you have is not just another religion. Maana Yesu uliyo naye si dini nyingine. The Lord and the King of Kings and the mighty beginning of the creation of God. Huyu unayemwambia Bwana na mfalme wa wafalme na ndiye mwanzilishi wa chochote kilicho kupa nguvu utumie jina lake and he will do you don't need to have faith hautaji kuona imani you need to obey what he says unastahili kutii kile alichokisema amen amen
basi ile hofu itaweza kuondolewa ndani yako and you begin to speak more superior than any sorcerer or witch doctor na utaanza kuongea kwa nguvu sana zaidi ya kila mganga na mchawi yeyote yule i will deliver him ya kwamba mimi nitamuokoa demons shake and atetemeka now listen to me excuse me it is foolish for us to wish away the reality of satan for he is well and alive to run ni njia ya kiukumbafu sana sisi kupuzilia mbali njia ya uzima and the day and the night Peter second Peter chapter 5 verse 8 Now siku na mtana Petro wa pili mstari wa pili mstari wa You better understand my dear brother and my dear sister Zima walele walewe hili dugu yangu dada yangu The day and the night Ya kwamba usiku na mtana According to Peter chapter Peter chapter 5 verse 8 Kulingana na Petro wa pili mlango wa 5 na mstari wa 8 The Bible says Biblia inasema hivi You are enemy Satan ya kwamba adui wenu shetani walks around anatembea huku na huku like a rolling lion kama simba anapoguruma looking for someone anakimtafuta mtu to devour ameze listen to that sikiza hilo satan has never gone on holiday shetani hajawahi enda likizo he is walking around your family around children around your job around your self around your health he want to create misery and trouble in your life yeye anatembea anazunguka zunguka maishani mwako kazini mwako nyumbani mwako kwa mtoto wako kila wakati anazunguka akitaka kuleta maafa katika maisha yako he wants to devour your children anataka ameze watoto wako devour your business ameze biashara yako devour your income ameze mapokeo yako your health ameze afya yako devour your future ameze hatima yako is a nivu liar maana yeye ni mdanganyifu mwovu say yesu anasema yeye yeye resist by faith ya kwamba mpingeni kwa imani and what is faith na imani ni nini faith is expecting god to do what he said he will do imani ni kutarajia mungu afanye vile alisema atafanya He said he hapa in Psalms 91 Pale Zaburi 91 What did God say? Je, Mungu alisema nini? Let us hear the voice of the Lord. Basi tusikize sauti ya Mungu. I shall call 91 verse 15 Pale 91 na mstari wa 15 I shall call upon the Lord. Basi mimi nitamuita Bwana. And the Lord will answer me. Basi na yeye atanijibu atanijika. He will be with me. 
any trouble nanyi wakati wa tabu, he will deliver me and honor me ataniokoa na yeye atanitukuza and the long life will satisfy me na kwa siku nyingi atanishibisha faith is expecting god to do all mm. that he has said maana imani ni kutarajia mungu afanye chochote kile ambacho alisema it is not by good luck si kibahati nasibu it is according to his covenant lakini ni kulingana na baraka na ahadi zake za kiangano but excuse me pastor lakini samahani mchungaji i don't feel god mimi siisi mungu demo ndugu wa mamake je kuna mtu ambaye anaisi mara yake tasen kitu ta cho abdomen hebu shika tumbo lako do you feel your intestines unaisi matumbo yako maini are the intestines there je Mare hey. yako Are the intestines there? Yako Are your lungs there? Je, mapafu yako yako But you can't see them. Lakini hawezi ukayaona. You can't feel them. Hawezi ukayaisi. But you are sure they are there. Lakini unawahakika yapo. Why can you be sure God is in you and with you? Kwa nini usikuwe na hakika kwamba Mungu yuko ndani yako na pamoja nawe? Have you ever seen your lungs? Ushawaiona mapafu yako? Have you seen your intestines? Ushawaiona mara yako. Then if you have never seen them and you know they are there. Hivyo basi kama haujawahi yaona na unajua hapo. How do you know that your heart is there? Je, unajuaje kwamba moyo wako upo? Because you experience its beat. Kwa sababu unaweza ukaisi vile ina. How do you know that your wako. intestines are there? Utajuaje kwamba mara yako yako? Because you can eat and go to the latrine. Kwa sababu unaweza ukakula na ukaenda kwa choo. Then why don't you believe God is there because he hears you and he is in you? Hivyo basi kwa nini usiamini kwamba Mungu yupo anakusikia na yuko pamoja nawe? Eh then do kama ama tutatekela kananga in tela ndumtela simo mwiwe boni. Kwa ni kama auishi mara yako, mbona usikubali kwamba si lazima uishi Mungu kana kwamba yupo? You have a lot of faith in your intestines. Wewe una matumaini mengi katika mara yako. Which you don't feel and you don't see. Ambayo auishi na uyaoni. Why don't you also have faith and confidence that God whom you don't see and you don't feel is in you? Kwa nini usiwe na ujasiri ya kwamba Mungu ambaye aumuoni aumuishi basi yuko ndani yako? He is a life. Na yeye yu hai. But the God of this earth, lakini Mungu wa dunia hii, is a new God. Yeye ni miungu ambao ni miovu. He has captured the minds of the believers. Amekamata akili za waumini. And he is using their souls and spirits. Na anatumia nafsi zao na roho zao to carry them to the world of vanity. Kuwabeba katika ulimwengu mtupu. Especially the young people. Ah, aswa wanarika. Young people, I pity you. Wanarika ninawahurumia because Satan kwa sababu shetani has understood you want to experience. Ameelewa ya kwamba unataka uisi. Mazee yenyewe ni lazima nihisi. Mhm. Mazee lazima ibambe hii. Mhm. Yenyewe jo. Epchet, epchet. Chet. Yenyewe. Baka nikuze guze nikaweze kumbambika. Hiyo demu yenyewe nilikuza umeme. Meme ukani Ukani zoa Yo yo demu ni poa sana hii Kini unajua mimi Niokoka lakini nyewe Mamu wengine bana lazima udondoke na mamu wengine bana Wezi kukusilia hivi Si mungu jua liumba hivi jo Ndiyo sababu you don't have a future. Hauna. You are destined is in the hands of Satan. Hatima yako iko mikononi mwa shetani. And you decide eh, you are going out and you are coming in. Na yeye ndiye anakuamulia kutoka na kurudi kwako. Why? Kwa nini? You have more time with YouTube. Hauna wakati na YouTube. Samani. 
utetea uwe utetea uwe unaona huyu anaanza kujuthi anaanza kuwatetea samani samani you have no time for god yet you have a lot of time in the youtube he hauna wakati na mungu lakini una wakati mwingi kuingia youtube facebook is your shamba maana facebook hiyo ndilo shamba lako ina of destruction of the modern man and especially the younger generation it is the social media uchawi mkuu na uganga mkuu wa kuharibu wanadamu aswa wanarika ni mtandao they have no time to fellowship the, with the lord maker their creator eternal elohim jehovah el gibor jehovah olala and the lord you are you have no time for that because it is so exciting to visit a site in the in the website and you want to see how you know i wanted to see nilikuwa nataka kuona how i can dress embrace vile naweza dress to embrace vile naweza kuvaa nikumbatiwe nivutie nivutie samani There you go. Huwa wanasema kutesa. Ngwa ni nzio, ngwa ni nzio. Ngwa ni nzuri. Na yatu wa yuko mtu wa Paulo. Na inapasuliwa mpaka juu. Mtu aguma nu dayatana. Tu akinama tazi na waka. Sasa sio ndio kuta kuzia kalanda kuzia kuzia. Kwa sababu ya moto na kuzia. Na kila wakati akikaa chini ni kuvuta, kuvuta, kuvuta. Radgat Excuse me Samani Unajua pasa wetu mzee ni pala unajua aelewi aelewi no aelewi Sisi yenyewe tunataka macho kama macho mahali macho baka hiyo Joro joy today fuck the mash Listen Skiza Satan is the author of social media. Shetani ndiye mwanzilishi wa hali ya kimtandao. It might have helped economically. Inaweza kuwa imesaidia katika hali ya kiuchumi. Satan has 99.9 share. Lakini shetani ana 99.9% kiti in the social company katika eh, katika makampuni ya kimtandao He is the greatest share order Yeye ndiye aliye na share nyingi sana Every social media maana kila mtandao Once you see unapotanzama 40% good things Aslimia 40 vitu vizuri 60% it is destruction of the soul of a man and a special of a believer Aslimia 90 ni ya kuleta uharibifu katika nafsi ya muumini aswa yule aliyeamini Mi, Mimi nimechanganyikiwa Sababu sijui kutanza kutumia nini Ninafungua I want to go na kitu na kuta. Kabla nikifungua YouTube hivi mwanamke na mwanaume ndio ngono ndio hii inaendelea. Paka sasa nianze kufunga macho ni toe nianze ni toe hivi angalau nikifunga macho nione hiyo picha imetoka. This is a scheme of apocalyptic design of Satan because he knows the end time is at hand as to get as many as he can to hell with him through the media hii ni jama ya shetani ya siku za mwisho kwa sababu anajua mwisho unakaribia na lazima awe na wateja wengi kupitia kwa mtandao as much as we use the media to preach the gospel vile zaidi tunatumia mitandao kuhubiri injili so is he also using the social media 
to propagate hell and evil in the heart of people hivyo basi ndio anatumia mitandao kuleta kuzimu katika mioyo ya watu three things create your faith vitu vitatu ambazo huunda imani yako number 1 jambo la kwanza what you see kile unachokiona it creates faith in you linasema kwamba inaunda imani ndani yako did you know that you can browse and you can also go to the social media you can go to the internet and also download brilliant skills of stealing unajua kwamba unaweza enda ukaenda kwa mtandao na ukaweza kudownload vile ya kuiba vizuri ni wewe sio unaweza katika mtandao kajua maana kundu wa kuya ni sote kuonekana ukasoma ni zoke ya kisomo ni kicha kuya unajua unaweza ukaenda kwa mtandao uka, ukasoma jinsi ya kuiba ili usionekane vizuri sana eh 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 ona noti kwa mtandao hata unaweza kwenda kwa mtandao ukasoma how to win somebody's husband ukasoma jinsi ya kunyang'anya mume wa mtu you can also go to the media and study and learn how to win a man win a woman unaweza ukaenda kwa mtandao na ukasoma jinsi ya kuweza kumvutia mwanaume ama mwanamke did you know that Je, umejua hivyo? You can also study and get the knowledge now how to kill without being known. Unaweza ukasoma na ukajua vile unaweza kuua na usijulikane. Hey, yes. Ndio. You don't need to go to the witch doctor, you need to go to the uh, to the, the internet. Uhitaji kwenda kwa mganga, unastahili kwenda kwa mtandao. You know how to kill. Ya kwamba utajua jinsi ya kuua. That's why I'm saying the social media. Ndio maana ninasema mtandao. It is being used as a tool of destruction by Satan. Inatumiwa kama chombo cha uharibifu na shetani. The answer is one. Jibu ni moja. To live as a conqueror and above the traits of social media. It is simply to love Jesus Christ. Kuishi kama msindi juu ya mtandao ni kumpenda Yesu. Can I shock you? What an... of Jesus Christ his word and the love in you unastahili kuweka begu ya Yesu Kristo na neno lake ndani yako i pray for a lot of people here mimi naombea watu wengi hapa in my office kwa ofisi and through the phone na pia kwa simu It is in colleges ni katika colleges katika vyuo
jana unatoka shume wewe ni kabisa hiki kitu kinaitwa bash haujui kitu kina ladies night na katika college unaambiwa now i believe you leo ni ladies night tuwapelekeni kwa bash unajua sasa unasikia ladies night upeleko kwa bash ujasikia neno hilo bash unafikiri ni bus ndio huyo unabebwa asubuhi mahali ulilala asubuhi au juu ulilala na nani lakini umelala kwa sababu kama ungempenda Yesu au ungeenda kwa bash ni heri ukae fala ushamba na uwe na Mungu maana ukiwa na Mungu tomorrow is it one ni sure kesho imehakikishwa amen if you love jesus kama utampenda yesu tomorrow is sure kesho yako imehakikishwa you will be a woman and a man of dignity like bishop ya kwamba utakuwa mwanamke na mwanaume wa heshima kama askofu maana nilikuwa kijana kama wewe Nasema hivyo kwa sababu nilikuwa kijana Naka, kama wewe. Zile zile nilikuwa nazo kama wewe. Lakini from 13th of September toka tarehe 10 o'clock 1973. Tarehe 13 mwezi wa 9 mwaka huo wa 73 saa 9. Today, kutoka siku hiyo I chose to walk with Jesus. Mimi nilichagua kutembea na Yesu and he has been a great friend na amekuwa rafiki mkuu a wonderful person na mtu wa ajabu kwangu i am what i am by his mercies and love and partnership and i'm a member of the heavenly family i'm a member of the heavenly council mimi nimekuwa mmoja wapo kwa rehema zake nimekuwa mmoja wapo wa kamati ya mbingu na mmoja wapo wa familia ya mbingu to love jesus and he became my lord and my savior and i have walked with him and in hand in all over the world nilifanya maamuzi ya kuwa Yesu Kristo kuwa bwana mwokozi wa maisha yangu na nimetembea naye kwa ukaribu sana duniani kote if you want to be kama unataka ukue mtu you must be a friend of somebody lazima uwe rafiki wa mtu if you want to be somebody kama unataka uwe mtu translate in that context okay the op- what is the opposite of something the opposite of somebody is nobody kama unataka ufanyike mtu mwenye maana mtu mashuhuri mtu mashuhuri hata wakati wa mazishi yako uwe kila mahali hata mpaka utakapokwenda bibuni uwe mashuhuri uwe unajua ukiwa kama hauna maana na au mashuhuri ukifa unaitwa mwanda zako lakini kama wewe ni mashuhuri na kama una heshima unaitwa unaitwa marehemu na kama wewe una heshima zaidi unaitwa hayat you cannot be unless you have somebody hawezi ukawa mtu mashuri mpake mpaka uwe na mtu you can only be somebody if so utakuwa mashuri ikiwa mtu mashuri atakuwa ndani yako gota 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 and that is Jesus Christ. Na huyo ni Yesu Kristo. Amen. This Jesus is alive and well in you and with you always. Huyu Huyu Yesu yuko hai, yupo pamoja nawe na tena ndani yako na kila wakati anatembea na wewe. You young people, nyinyi wanarika, watch out the world is calling you and destiny 
kweni makini sana maana dunia yote inaangazia hata inataka kumeza hati mazenu ah goda tena first time you look you may look like an irrelevant useless girl or lady or boy kwa muda fulani utaonekana utaonekana dada asiye na maana ama dugu asiye na maana but wait a moment lakini ngoja kidogo when the heavenly council decides you are destiny and begins to work up for your elevation because he said i will honor him and i will set him on high kwa sababu wakati ambapo kamati ya mbingu inaanza kufanya kazi na inaanza kuweka mipangilio maana amesema kwamba basi nitakutukuza na nitakuheshimisha angalia pale mstari wa 14 hayo maandiko This is the promise of the living God. Maana hii ni ahadi ya Mungu aliye hai. My goodness. Hallelujah. Oh, we, we, we. Look at that. Angalia hiyo. Because Pastor Amos has set his love upon me. Kwa sababu mchungaji Amos ameweka upendo juu ya Therefore I will deliver him. Hivyo basi mimi nitamuokoa. You don't have to pray for deliverance. Hauhitaji hauhitaji kuombea kukombolewa. Oh God deliverance on in a church somewhere where there is Wednesday deliverance. Ama uende katika kanisa fulani ambayo iko na ibada ya ukombozi kila siku ya Jumatano. Mm, naenda kanisa la ukombozi Wednesday deliverance service eh, siku ya kukombolewa. Ni. Leo mkuja hapa mafuta iko hapa na na, na, na kitambaa kiko hapa Wednesday deliverance baada eh, kuja 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 baada ya Jumatano na, na, ya ukombozi. Naongea Kiswahili. Now yes ninaonyeshwa nyanya yako alikufa akazikwa na nyota yako na sasa nataka kuingarisha kisha katika kitofu chake alifunga baraka na baadhi yako na sasa ni jeshi kuna mtafuta kata upati kazi babu ulitumiwa majini hiyo ni tayakamata ninataka ku deliver wewe to deliver you from what ukombolewe kutoka kwa nini e pastor kamuti stand up mchungaji kamuti simama Kam. jesus is lord yesu kristo ni bwana na mwokozi you love him ya kwamba unampenda he says abide in me Anas. and i in you ya kwamba kaeni ndani yangu nami ndani yenu tumeingiana mimi na yesu Amen. Kama tumeingiana ako ndani yangu na mimi niko ndani yake. Na aposto mtesamanjini anatuambia twende twende kwake for deliverance. Mimi ni Yesu na wewe ndio Pastor Kamuti. Niko ndani yako na wewe uko ndani yangu. Na vile vile hebu kuja ndugu hapa. Na vile vile tukumbatie kule nyuma tukumbatie sote na tukiwa hivi mimi na mimi Yesu na kamuti tuko hivi rudi nyuma tukumbatie hivyo kuja hapo kwa Amos tunaenda kwa eh, nabii apostoli Eduardo Amos akatunyarisha akatu akakukomboe aka wewe mimi Yesu niko na wewe na, na una shida mingi nikiwa na wewe na kwa hivyo eh, tunaenda pale tukakombolewa tuondolewe huu mtu ako nyuma mimi Yesu na wewe kamuti tunashikwa na huyu jamaa ako nyuma tunaenda kwa Eduardo mtaza majini atuonde mimi Yesu na kamuti sisi tumeona tumeona angalia sana fire fire eh, fire moto tumeumia mimi na kamuti twa ang shetani ako nyuma yetu ye <laughs> Now, how do Satan, Shetani and Wezaje, have authority over me, over Kamuti, when Jesus is with Kamuti? Akuwe na mamlaka ndani ya Kamuti na juu ya Yesu wakati ambapo Yesu yuko na mchungaji Kamuti. 
Then in pretense God take away that man. Hivyo basi kwa kujifanya tomeka na uondoke katika jina la Yesu. Tomeka nyota yako ni laijadesha. Roho zote zote na bahati mbaya iliyotolewa na nyanya na iondoa chomeka chomeka moto fire. If Kamote loves me, Kama ikiwa Kamote ana nipenda, I will love him. Basi mimi nitampenda. I will come in him. Nitakuja ndani yake. If I am the Lord of the universe, Kama mimi ndiyo bwana aliyezuka zote. I am the Son of God. Mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. I am in Kamote. Kama niko ndani ya Kamote, how does Satan find a room in Kamote? Je, shetani anapataje nafasi ndani ya Kamote? So that I would need a human being hivyo basi nitahitaji mwanadamu to deliver kamuti from the devil when i am the kamuti hakuje kukomboa kamuti kutoka kwa shetani wakati yesu yuko ndani ya kamuti this is a lie of 21st century nasema huu ni udanganyifu wa karne ya 21 if you love jesus ya kwamba kama unampenda yesu tuta the heavenly family in you kwa kio kamilifu unayo familia ya kimbingu ndani yako Jesus has never changed. Yesu hajawahi badilika. He says to believe on me. Anasema enyi mnaoamini ndani yangu. To love me. Na mnanipenda mimi. You will lay your hands on the sick. Ni kwamba mtawekelea wale wagonjwa mikono. Be healed. Na wale walio wagonjwa watapona. Sick. Kama kama mtoto ni mgonjwa. Don't call the pastor. Usiite mchungaji. Don't Ma uhitaji imani. You need to believe. Unahitaji kuamini that Jesus is true. Ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ni wa kweli. And because he is true, na kwa sababu ni wa kweli, what he told you to do, do it. Kile alikuambia ufanye basi kifanye. Believe that. Amini hiyo. And you will see the results. Na utaona matokeo. Amen. Amen. Anybody is a miracle worker. Maana yeyote yule anaweza katenda miujiza. Ah. Say anybody including myself. Sema kila mtu yeyote yule ah. hata mimi. Aha, uh -huh. sema mimi. Sema mimi. Mimi. Mimi ni mmoja wao. Ni mmoja wao. Ni sehemu ya mamlaka na agano la Bwana. Ni sehemu ya mamlaka na angano za Bwana. Practice that it will work. Basi fanyia kazi hiyo na itafanya kazi. Because you love Jesus. Kwa sababu unampenda Yesu. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. I praise His name. He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Every knee should bow. Every tongue confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter six, verse five. Bukumbo la Torati, mlango wa sita na mstari wa tano. I'm sorry. Saba na mstari wa tisa. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. Utampenda mungu wako, tuoko wakati. Utampenda Bwana Mungu wako na moyo wako wote na roho yako yote na kwa nguvu zako zote. Aha, verse 7 verse 9. Pale saba na mstari wa 9. Therefore know that the Lord your God he is a God. Ya kwamba basi jueni ya kuwa Bwana Mungu wenu ndiye Mungu, Mungu mwaminifu, ashikaye angano lake na rehema zake kwa wampendao na kushika amri zake hata vizazi elfu. Generation With those who love him, wale wanaompenda, wanaompenda. Hey, 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 hey! Listen, skiza. I don't care what troubles and pain you have in life. Mimi sijali ni matatizo na machungu yepiuli na umaishani. This is your covenant confession. Mana hi ndio kukiri kwa ngano la mungu. And it says, "He is." Ya kwamba Bwana Mungu Mungu wako ni Mungu Mungu mwaminifu. God who keeps his covenant and mercy for a thousand 
generation with those who love him Mungu muaminifu ashikaye ngano zake lake na rehema zake kwa wao mpendao hata visa na wakasema pale katika kitabu cha Zaburi 91 ya kwamba atatuinua na kukuza to not be working now labda naweza ikaonekana ifanye kazi kwa sasa but keep on believing the lord that he will keep his covenant upon your life lakini endelea kumwamini bwana ya kwamba atatimiza maangano yake katika maisha yako kaenda kadho kiotia ni wake maana mungu ataweza kuachilia angano zake social groups are so sweeter than the presence and the love of god vikundi vya kimahusiano ni tamu sana kuliko upendo wa mungu if you have a friend who is not born again lakini kama una rafiki ambaye hajaokoka be the first person to tell him my brother you need jesus to be your personal savior wewe kwa mtu wa kwanza kumwambia ndugu yangu unahitaji kristo awe bwana mwokozi wa maisha yako our destiny on earth is in the hands of god hatima zetu hapa duniani ziko mikononi mwa mungu you do not need to pray prayers from an accomplished physical liar hauhitaji maombi kutoka kwa mtu ambaye ni mdanganyifu to know this lakini unastahili kuelewa hii na kujua hii worship and you serve is god ya kwamba mungu ambaye unamtumikia unaye mwabudu ni mungu mwaminifu will keep his covenant yeye ataweka angano zake it is that drink that sleep that and die that wewe kula hiyo kunywa hiyo ishi hiyo kufa hiyo amen amen na kumbisho Ashkofu haujui ya kwamba Mungu anasaidia na kusaidia. That deadly poisonous kamba Bible. Hiyo eh, ni kitu cha sumu sana ya kikamba. Kama Biblia kikamba. Ya kwamba Mungu anasaidia naye jisaidia. Ukienda kupata watu wawili wa kilima mmoja ameshindwa na mwingine anaendelea kulima utanyang'anya huyo ambaye analima jembe aendelee kulima Wewe patia Mungu kitu cha kufanya kazi nacho Do something little Fanya kitu kidogo. God will do great thing. Basi Mungu atatenda ma, mambo makubwa. Moses stretched the stick on the sea. Wewe au uh, Moses stretched the staff on the sea. Musa ananyosha fimbo yake katika bahari. He did a small thing. Alifanya kitu kidogo. God did the big thing. Basi Mungu akafanya jambo lile kubwa. They walked a small thing around the world. Walitembea kitu kidogo wakizunguka ule ukuta. God down the wall. Basi Mungu akaweka chini ule ukuta. Whatever you do by faith. Chochote unachofanya kwa imani. God will do the act. Basi Mungu atafanya kile kingine. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Love the Lord your God. Mpende Bwana Mungu wako. I want to conclude this. Nataka kumalizia hii. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 1 to 3. Kumbukumbu la Torati mlango wa 13 mstari wa kwanza wa pili na watatu aha if there arises among you a prophet kukizuka katikati yenu nabii or a dreamer of dreams and he gives you a sign or what hao mwotaji wa ndoto akikutolea ishara au ajabu and the sign now and the sign of the one that comes to pass na ikatukia ishara au hiyo ajabu aliyokuambia kisema na tuifuate miungu mingine usiyojua itimie and let us go after other gods and it na tufuate miungu mingine usiyojua listen to this and the mundu akoka katabanya ekjama ikiwa mtu ama muhubiri atakuja na atende muujiza kana adha yani hama tabiri jambo na lile jambo alilo tabiri litimie na hiyo akwele luche mweke maundu alama tema lunga lu na toke basi akuepusha akuweke kando utende mambo ya sio matakatifu you must stand against that lazima usimame kinyume na hiyo nundo kwa sababu ni 
Ni wengi ambao wameinuka katika nyakati hizi za mwisho. Wanaitwa waombezi. And the men of you are victims of such a draconian rules of Satan. Na wengi wetu hapa sisi ni waadhiriwa wa sheria kama hizo na maangizo maovu kama hayo ya shetani. Now listen. Sikiza. Out of desperate and perplexion and depression kwa kukata tamaa na kuvunjika moyo na kukataliwa you simply run for answers from anybody wewe unakimbilia jibu kwa mtu yeyote ule you are also parking in your spirit mount to eat basi wewe unaendelea kujaza roho yako mapepo mengi zaidi ya vile ulikuwa nayo even if it does a miracle hata kama atafanya muujiza he is still a servant of satan basi yeye ni mtumishi bado wa shetani atakapokuwa akifanya muujiza hmm. is still a serpent of satan and na the truth and the love of god is being polluted and paganized by wayward preachers and the social media ukweli wa mungu umefa, umeweza kususwa ukawa hauna maana na wabili wengine wa uongo Salvation is the power of God. Wakovu ni nguvu za Mungu. Delivered from the power and the life of Satan into the righteousness of God. Tukiwa tumekombolewa kwa kwa nguvu za shetani mpaka kwa wokovu wa Kristo Yesu. For example you cannot be here. Ya kwamba mtu hawezi akawa hapa. Yesu ndiye bwana. Tuko ndeze. Kwa mabwana Yesu ndiye bwana. Kwa mabwana Yesu ndiye bwana ah eh 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 ah eh 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 twende nyuma twende mbele twende upande upande mwingine ah eh 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 then hivyo basi on Saturday evening ya Jumamosi jioni at Porini pale Porini <coughs> saa sita hivi saa sita mchana <laughs> oh dada leo kwa kuli kile leo bado kwenda kuwa wako muongo mbolo taka ngombe kuko wa mbili ukileti kuna <laughs> mkono ulikuwa umewekwa mahali kama ngombe anayotolewa kupo kuwa umenyamaza tu unajua ninakupenda lakini shida yako imeokoka. Ngewache hiyo pofu hata ile gari iko nyuma ningekupati. Ai, nakuwe kae kombe ka nyu. Uliagwe ka nyu na wende kula ka ndumeka ni agwe au. Sasa akwe kwa tawadhiku. Utafanya nini ukienda huko? Acha wewe kwa huko. Unasema usifanywe hivyo. Usaku kondungia hata. Utafanya nini? Unakwenda kukidha ama ndio ukidha kwa wipi ripewa mukidhi long. Utafanya hivyo ukitayarishwa kwa jambo lingine. If you love Jesus, kama unampenda Yesu, let Satan know that. Wacha shetani ajue hilo. Let the you know that. Wacha kila mtu ajue hilo. Let everybody know that. Kila mtu ajue hivyo. Amen. Amen. Sio hiyo makala aliyekuma. Jua lichomoze, likose kuchomoza. Njia moja ya kuchukua kiroboto upeleke nyumbani. Kama iko hapa. Nenda toe nguo nusu. Wewe usiambie kiroboto vile inafanya. Wewe toka pale. Kaona tu na wengine wanakuja ile iliyo na vita ipai iende ibaki hiyo itakusanya itakusanya na kama ajue napeleka wapi anaanza kusukuma nyuma watu wengi ni kama hicho ni pale tu ni, ni pale tu nitapelekwa
hiyo ya kiroboto tu inanyamata tu mahali tapelekwa popote pale inaitwa kingolon believers you must know waumini lazima tuelewe you should not compromise for you are god ya kwamba austahili kudharau upendo wa Mungu kwako believers in the first church Waumini katika kanisa la kwanza they were slaughtered believing in Jesus walikatwa shingo wakiamini Yesu they were thrown the den of lions and the torn apart confessing Jesus Christ as their lord and the savior walitupwa katika tundu la siba wakararuliwa wakiamini kwamba Yesu Kristo ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yao was torn to death calling on Jesus until the last moment he comes and said lord take my spirit and forgive them Stefano aligongwa mawe hakafa bado akiwa namuita bwana na mara ya mwisho akamwambia bwana achukua nafsi yangu wasamea wajui lolote wafanyalo Believers we are torn asunder and split into two parts with the souls confess as lord and their friend and their god waumini waliteswa sana na wakaweza kukatwa mara mbili na msumeno lakini hawakukosa kulikiri jina la Yesu Kristo ndani ya maisha yao they refuse to denounce their love for Jesus because they knew they are on transit to eternity with the lord after this life walikataa kukana upendo wao kwa Yesu Kristo maana walijua ya kwamba wataingia katika umilele baada ya maisha haya wanayoishi the gospel is being made irrelevant and useless by stupid preachers and stupid christians maana injili imefanywa kitu kisicho na maana na waubiri wa jinga na pia waumini wa jinga I know pastors who preach when he drunk. Najua wachungaji wanaohubiri wakiwa walezi. In Makindu and outside Makindu. Makindu na nje ya Makindu. I know pastors who go to brothel, sleep with the prostitute in Makindu and outside Makindu and tomorrow they are on the pulpit talking about Jesus. Najua kuna wachungaji ambao wanaenda kulala na makaaba na malaya na katika siku ya Jumapili wameshika vipasa sauti wanaohubiri. There are brothers who are smokers and drinking beer yet to have the divinity of Christ in their lives. This is the end time delusion of Satan which we must run away from. Najua kuna wadogo ambao wanakunywa pombe na wanavuta sigara na wanakuja kanisani. Huu ni udanganyifu wa siku za mwisho ambao tunastahili kuepuka nao. Our decision and our love for God must be true, loyal and undiluted. Maamuzi yetu na upendo wetu kwa Yesu Kristo tunapaswa kuwa watifu na usiwe umeongezwa chochote. He is Lord. He is Lord. Yana man. Why should you join? You are born again, you are child of God. Why join a bunch which is smoking? Mwandarika kwa nini wewe ukua katika kundi la watu ambao wanavuta sigara? Your love for God should not be dispensed to social work. Upendo wako kwa Mungu haustahili kubiminwa katika ulimwengu wa kimtandao. Wakati mwingine nilikuwa naombea dada fulani mahali. Akiwa katika ambaye alikuwa katika chuo. She hoped to a sorcerer through the media. Yeye aliweza kuungana na mchawi kupitia kwa mtandao. Ona picha nzuri ya mdumuka. Akaona picha nzuri ya mwanamke na akapendezwa na kuta kukatiana sisi mafala la mwiba kutesi kukatiana ni kuikata na wanaita kwa lugha ya kisasa kukatiana mafala ni mtu tu kwaje mtu fala ni mtu ambaye ashika ashiki chochote eh eh tiki lakini kutoka kwaje kila kiende ashiki ni nini ambacho kinaendelea kwa hiyo kama mtu ufala ni mtu sio sio kwa kukatiana ni kuikata basa kama mtu lakini ukiuliza hawa kuanzia hapa ukifika pale mbele kukatiana mpaka ukapewa misamiati 
Na mambo hiyo chat. Wakaanza kuchat pamoja. Kai in this chatting, kumbe katika kuwasiliana. She was bewitched. Yeye alikuwa amerogwa. Ao akarogwa. Ni mtu mgosi amwandumie mbeza. Na huyo mwanamke akamwambia nitumie pesa. Tumia nani pocket yake? Akamtumia na ni pesa zake za mfuko. Ana naongea na wanalika ambao tayari wanangoja kuingia pale. Akamtumia. Akamwambia nitumie zingine tena. Amtumia. Akamtumia. Amtumia amtumia. Akamtumia tena akamtumia. Akitulia akitumia pesa za mfuko badala ya kutumia yeye anamtumia tu. Sisi aki ndini wa kunenani. Katika kuwasiliana. Unastahili kuwasiliana na unaunganika na roho ya shetani. Na inakuingia unapata kwamba hautakuwa na wewe ndio utakuwa unamtumia hizo pesa. Aikomu. Analala njaa. Na siku moja akaambiwa tukutane mahali fulani. Pesa zi ambazo alikuwa nazo akamtumia simama mahali siku nne. Akasema alikaa pale siku nne. Wakati aliachiliwa akaenda. Akarudi katika chuo. Akaitisha pesa zingine akamtumia. Na siku moja kama wetu kutane mahali fulani wakakutana. Mwanamke aliyevaa vizuri. Akaja na gari nzuri. Akamwona ni huyo. Wakaunganika na kutoka hapo akaanza kuwa chombo chake this woman is a satanist huyu mwanamke ni wa shetani naambia wewe dia eki the pressure atumwebeza atumkuo tumwebeza na mbezi hiyo vitumewa mchawi na kila wakati na mtandao mese mchawi ni mtu wizo ile ukwenda nyonga na simbu achawi matupo ni simata za jimii Watu wanafikiria kwamba wachawi ni wale wanabeba nyoga wamebeba kinyonga lakini wachawi wa siku hizi wamevaa suti hata zaidi ya mimi. Wewe kani vinge mungu ndio nikalani saka nikalani kalaka na saka kuelezi. Timu ndokuita kabuti kenda haka na kunguni. Sio mtu aliyebeba kabuti iliyo na chawa ama kunguni. Modern satanism and sorcery is done by people in great suits and elegantly executively dressed. Ushetani wa kisasa na uchawi wa kisasa unafanya na watu ambao wamevaa suti tena vizuri sana. Ule mganga ambaye alikuwa anatumia ule mdada. Kama si Mungu kunionyesha mtu ako hapa waina hiyo, huyo angekuwa hapa na hata auwe wengine hapa. Kwa sababu kazi ya shetani ni kutafuta na kuua na kuibu. Aliponiambia ameoa watu wengine na pinde na wasiwasi kasema vile alivyoa na uwa. I was shocked. Mimi ni shuka. Na shetani niwaambie utuma ndo aje ni makanisa. Shetani ameanza kutuma maajendi kwa makanisa. Na, na wengine wana usuda ya kwamba mimi nimeokoka. Yeye tuna best mwingine hapa kanisani na tunaandaka mounting za zingine tunabudi ni nduga ambaye anafanya KCB eh, na ni mzuri na aliniambia ni mtembelee eh, eh, eh. kiingolondo kiki nwani ngali nziani chabangi eki kiliambola <laughs> kiroboto wakanyago na gari haliamua kwamba atavuka pole pole you, if you love Jesus young person kama unampenda Yesu analika hama wewe ambaye ni wa umri find out the spirit person wewe tafuta hali ya kiroho ya huyo mtu mtu eo kuya tuki tuka mbashi ba ya kiunduani ba ya kiunduani mtu ambaye na kuambia mwende kiunduani katika hizo tamasha na bashi yini zimu already unitu kukumi wa 
hii ni pepo haihitaji ushuhuda mwingine ila waendie bala wa umeigwe wakati alienda mahali ambapo aendie akwa mabantu kanisa alienda akakwama kwa duka nje esa koneka kuma kwa acha na diba ndonge na bantu bamwe akaonekana tangu asubuhi na sasa hivi ananja nundo already ni possessed by a spirit of satan haitishi chakula maana tayari amepangawa na roho ya shetani akatafutiwa chakula kala na ndio kukala na kaendelea kukaa pale you know what god did najua vile mungu alifanya our mother is born again mama yake ameokoka the lord sent his angels mungu alituma malaika wake a true testimony shuda wa kweli atuman el katuma watu wawili kama kule weka daba muulize unafanya nini hapa amwe ajiwe ba ni nyume ni mungu mkangu that satanist aliachwa mkanga ni dhii kuna mtu ni aliachwa hapa na hilo pep mamosa akamchukua na mamweke ya shopi wakamfanyia shopi na mamu kwenda ngali mamu kwa baloko ma wakambeba na gari wakampeleka mahali ambapo na simu yake ma ma bloko simu ya that satanist na wakachukua simu yake waka block huyo ambaye ni wa shetani huyo na mamu tia na wakamwacha pale something that has happened kitu ambacho kimefanyika ni wano apa wano kwa yana kukinda chai ni wano kwa mtu kisipo ni wano kanisa ni iba na sema ni moja wapo manarika hapa kanisa ni But you see, I can't tell who. Lakini siwezi nikasema ni nani. Because it could be Vicky, it could be that Vero. It was very really beautiful no matter no way. I'm saying this young up. Nasema yenyi wanarika. If you love God, kama unampenda Mungu, let it be God and the God alone. Waacha iwe ni Mungu na Mungu pekee. Say amen. Na you also old people nyinyi mliozidi kwa umri if you love god kama unampenda mungu love god with all of your heart mpende mungu na moyo wako wote you will see the next generation utaona kizazi you will kijacho. see your grandchildren utaona wajukuu wako it shall be well with you itakuwa vyema kwako you might have challenges and trouble for some time unaweza kuwa na changamoto kwa muda fulani but not always lakini sio kila wakati the lord will visit you bwana atakutembelea the way the lord visited that wonderful young sister vile mungu alimtembelea huyo dada and delivered her na kumkomboa Amen. 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 Say I love Jesus. Sema ninampenda Yesu. I will love Jesus. Na nitampenda Yesu. When you love Jesus. Wakati unampenda Yesu. He will love you. Yeye atakupenda kwanza. He will be with you. Hatakuwa pamoja nawe. He will walk with you. Atatembea pamoja nawe. Amen. Amen. If you love Jesus. Kama unampenda Yesu. You will love your wife. Utampenda mke wako. You will love your children. Utapenda watoto wako. You will love your husband. Utapenda mume wako. If you love Jesus. Unapompenda Yesu. You will love every utapenda kila mmoja if you love jesus unapompenda yesu kilungu je 10 nduka ya waumia wewe auta ya auta auta lazimisha kutoa fungu la 10 because it's a command maana ni amri you will obey the command of your god wewe utatii amri ya mungu wako ila wewe kama kitandani cho wakati utalala katika kitanda cha ugonjwa jesus will raise you up yesu atakuinua because kwa sababu he cares for his friends yeye anajali marafiki wake he told his disciples akawaambia wale wanafunzi wake our friend lazarus oh our friend ya kwamba rafiki wetu nani rafiki wetu Mwana wewe tu lasalo no komia Rafiki wetu Lazaro amelala If you love Jesus Kama unampenda Yesu you become his friend Basi wewe unakuwa marafiki wake He wants us you are going and you are coming Yeye anachunga sana kutoka na kurudi kwako He cares about you today and tomorrow Anajali leo yako na kesho yako pia You end in the plan of God Wewe unaingia katika mpango wa Mungu You and your family Wewe pamoja na familia yako If you want you to be well to be well with you kama unataka iwe vyema kwako love jesus with all of your heart basi mpende yesu na moyo wako wote when you say that our brother 
afraid he slept. Wakati ambapo alisema adugu yetu rafiki yetu amelala. Na ni lazima niende nikamwamushe. Mhm. Jesus did not go and resurrect a Pharisee. Yesu akwenda kumfufua Farisayo. He to resurrect Lazarus, his friend. Yeye alienda kumfufua Lazaro rafiki wake. Jesus is touched by your love for him. Maana Yesu anaguzwa na upendo wako kwa call upon him. Na wakati unapomuita, he will answer you. Yeye atakuitika. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Love Jesus. Mpende Yesu. And I want to tell you. Nataka nikwambie your tomorrow will be sure. Wikesho yako imehakikishwa. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Glory to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Let me give you one analog and then I speak. Wacha niwapatie kitu moja tu alafu nimalizie. Nyonge Kiswahili ili tukwenda katano nimalizie. Nilipeana mfano wakati mwingine. Vijana wili walikuwa wanacheza katika barafu. Snow. Na katika milima hasa ya Europa inajawa na snow ama barafu na wanaenda kuchezo naitwa skidi yani unateremka maneno yanateleza kwa mlima unaenda kuingia unaruka unaenda kuingia mwingine hivi na ikawa sasa huwa wanaweka mtu kwa kudumu wili ni ya nene unaingia kule ndani alafu unasuka na hiyo kudumu mpaka ikimbia kwa mlima huu iruke ule mwingine ndoka ile mwingine alafu ende kwa baba mahali na ule mwingine naye anafuata maana yake anaweza kupotea mpaka angalie mahali mengine kumbe mahali ambaye mlima ule angabaye ingemalizia haiku ilipoka mlima ikaenda alipofika akuta eh burudumu imevuka mlima huu na ile kia mwingine akaenda akaenda mpaka baadaye akapotea akakimbia nyumbani akaita umbo wake akamchukua umbo akaja kumuonyesha huduma alimepita jamani ni shepherd wanajua upelelezi wakaenda wakaenda bali mkoa mpaka kampeleka kwa mlima mwingine bali kule akakuta rafiki yake anashiva ama anatengizika kwa sababu ya baridi na unajua nguo ni zile zile alitoka nazo zimeshika barafu alipona hivi he na ujua kwamba siku kuta ati ndo huyo umba kumbe alipo mahali alianguka alifunikwa na barafu kwa hivyo mbwa akanusa juu ya barafu mahali ya uoni mbwa akatoa hivi akafanya hivi anapweka huu huu akatoa hivi akakuta rafiki ndio huyo akamuinua anazirai kwa sababu ya baridi sasa akamkumbatia akamlalia ampashe joto naye mbwa pia vile vile akaja pia akamsaidia mbwa naye akamwangukia juu huyo mbwa na wakamlalia pale wakamlalia pale barafu tena ikawashukia wote kawafunika sasa kukatangazwa kutafuta vijana wawili waliopotea kwa ndege na kwa vivyoote watu wakawasaka mpaka wakafika kwa ule mlima wakakuta ndo hawa ungwa na mwenzake vile walivyomlalia walikufa vile vile ungwa akafa akimlalia mpashe moto mwenzake akafa huko akimpashe moto na akaamua sitoki sibanduki maana ninampenda mimi sitatoka kama nikufa tuwe pamoja yeye na ungwa na wao wawili wakafa kwa sababu ya upendo upendo mpendwa au na kiasi upendo ni kujitoa kumpenda Mungu wako ukimpenda Yesu hautatenda dhambi hata dhambi kaangwe na kachumbani kijana huyu aliamua kufa kwa upendo kama ni kufa kufa kumpenda Yesu na kaburi yako iandikwe kwa hiyo msalaba yandikwe alimpenda Yesu simama mikupa Yesu na kupe na haleluya Yesu na kupe
Maona na macho yako. And it shall be by what I have said. Na itakuwa kulingana na vile nimesema. Put your hands on your bosom again. Weka mkono wako katika kisu. Let me prophesy. Wacha mimi nikutabiri. A time like this another year. Wakati kama huu mwaka mwingine. Jesus your friend. Yesu Kristo rafiki yako. By that time wakati huo the lord will fulfill all your good desires bwana atatimiza matamanio yako yote mazuri glory to god utukufu kwa mungu in jesus name katika jina la yesu amen amen as the praise team sings tukupende bwana wetu na fungu letu la 10 na sadaka zetu tukupende bwana kwa mungu let us worship the lord mtandao tutoe kwa mtandao fungu la 10 na sadaka zetu vile vile tutoe cash na mimi naomba ama can you pray Reverend Serena can you say a prayer